we want to determine the limit if it exists. We have the limit of the rational function as a approaches zero. If we try to determine the limit by performing direct substitution, we have the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. This does not mean the limit does not exist, it just means we cannot find the limit by performing direct substitution with the function in this form. We can often perform algebraic techniques to simplify a function so that we can then find the limit by performing direct substitution. The simplifying process eliminates the removable discontinuity that does not affect the limit of the original function. Let's first write the expression for the function using positive exponents. The quantity four plus a to the power of negative two is equivalent to one divided by the quantity four plus a to the power of positive two, and then we have minus 16 to the power of negative one is equivalent to 1 16th. And this is still all over a. And now to begin simplifying, we could subtract the fractions in the numerator, but a faster way to simplify a complex fraction is to multiply the top and bottom of the complex fraction by the LCD of the fractions here in the numerator. The LCD is going to be 16 times the square of the quantity four plus a. So now we will multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by 16 times the square of four plus a. Now we'll multiply the top. If it's helpful, we can think of 16 times the square of four plus a as a fraction with a denominator of one. So for this first product, notice how the square of four plus a will simplify out, leaving us with just one times 16, which of course is 16. And then we have minus for the second product. Notice how the 16s will simplify out, leaving us with just minus the square of four plus a. And all this is over the product on the bottom, which we'll just write as 16a times the square of four plus a. And now let's simplify the numerator by squaring four plus a. Let's do this above. Four plus a times four plus a is equal to 16 plus four a plus four a, which is plus eight a, and then plus a squared. So now in the numerator we have 16 minus the quantity 16 plus 8a plus a squared, still all over the same denominator. And now to eliminate the parentheses in the numerator, if it's helpful we can think of distributing negative one. Notice we have 16 and then minus 16, which is zero. And then we have minus 8a minus a squared. So the numerator simplifies to negative 8a minus a squared. The denominator remains the same for now. And now let's factor the numerator. Notice how there's a common factor of a. Let's go ahead and factor out negative a. If we factor out negative a, we'd be left with positive eight plus a, or a plus eight. Notice if we distribute, we still have negative a squared minus eight a. In this form, notice how we do have a common factor of a between the numerator and denominator. So we'll go ahead and simplify. A divided by A simplifies to one. So the simplified rational expression is now the opposite of the quantity A plus eight divided by 16 times the square of four plus A. Notice how by simplifying out the A between the numerator and denominator, we are eliminating the removable discontinuity at A equals zero, which is why we couldn't perform direct substitution to determine the limit. So now the original limit is equal to the limit of the opposite of the quantity a plus eight divided by the product of 16 and the square of four plus a, as a approaches zero. Notice in this form, we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution. Substituting zero for a, we have the opposite of the quantity zero plus eight, all divided by 16 times the square of four plus zero, which is equal to negative eight divided by 16 times 16, which is 256, which simplifies to negative one thirty-second. I hope you found this helpful.